Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss bad market conditions and how you as an independent truck dispatcher may want to deal with them. So, as we discussed in the previous video, there is certain seasonality to the freight market. Uh, there are also other factors that can affect rates on the market but regardless sooner or later you will in, end up in that period of time when rates are low there are few loads available rates are low and that will make your clients very very unhappy now if you're dealing with an experienced client who has been in business for a long time and they are a reasonable individual they will understand that this is normal for trucking. There will be highs and lows of the cycle and they will be okay with rates being lower. They may ask you to uh, hit certain targets or stay in certain area during this period of time, but they will understand what's going on. The issue is there will be other clients that will not understand what is happening and they will blame you as a dispatcher for the low rates. And during this period of time, it is you're running the highest risk of losing this client. Now, what can you do to prevent your client from leaving and trying to make them somewhat happier? Well, first of all, you cannot provide them with the higher rates. Okay, you cannot negotiate higher rates when the market is bad. Again, we discussed this in rate negotiations video, which I'm going to link below in case you want to check it out. If you don't have the upper hand, if you don't have the leverage, you will not be able to negotiate higher rates. So what you want to do with a client that doesn't understand what's happening is to educate them. Okay, you have to talk to them and explain to them what's going on on the market. You cannot just book them a load with a low rate, send it over and say, well, you know, go deal with it. You have to explain and say, Mr. Client, I know this load pays only this much. I know this is low, but I called on 10 other options and they were even lower. So once I saw this rate, I had to grab it because it was the best thing I could get today. And this provides them with a little bit different perspective, okay, that, you know, you didn't just send them a low rate load, it's actually probably the best paying load that, that they could get today. So, again, communication is critical, you must talk to them, you must talk to them much more often than you would when the market conditions are normal. And if you don't, they will just either openly or secretly blame you and they are going to leave. Are there any other steps you can take to help them during this difficult period of time? Yes, technically you can try to revisit how they are running and see if you can optimize, you know, where they go and uh, you know what kind of loads they transport. For example, if you're a client that is accustomed to running longer miles and now those loads are just not paying, the rates are really low per mile, you may want to suggest that they run shorter loads because they will pay at least higher rate per mile which may allow them to make more money this way uh, maybe you want them to stay in a certain area and don't venture out where they typically go you definitely don't want to send trucks to bad areas with 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 basically historically low uh, uh freight volumes like for example florida or uh, um, colorado because in a down market, those areas get completely depressed and it gets very, very hard to get the truck out. This will create a lot of frustration for your client. And even so, it may be tempting to send a truck there because the rate will seem higher than the average market rate. Uh, at the end of the day, when you get the truck out of this bad state, it will be a nightmare. It will be a financial nightmare. So, once again, uh, the only way to... Uh, help your clients through this uh, period of time is really communication and transparency and explaining to them what's going on. Maybe showing them those all the load options that you've been calling on, you know, and tell them I had this, I had this option, I had this load, and look at the rate. It's, it's just horrible. So the one that I've got is really, truly the best of what is available. And also tell them you don't make 
rates, you don't make loads, you know, you are just helping them select the best possible option on the market. So I hope this explains how you may want to deal with your clients during uh, down markets. And with all that being said, we are going to wrap up this video and I will see you next time.